Well, we expect the same treatment, right? The way they treated Donald Trump? They know if they were treated, they would have raided would have the raided University it, of Pennsylvania right. for the rest of the documents. Uh, I guess beat up the secretary and then just grabbed everything they could. Uh, but I thought it was encouraged that somebody else yelled that question, what about the documents, to the president in Mexico. It wasn't Peter. It wasn't, uh, it, it wasn't a Fox reporter. It was uh, the APTN uh, pool reporter. He, he who yelled that what about answer. the doc? But it's interesting yeah. that they yeah. care. And my first alert on my phone, I don't know what you got, was NBC. NBC alerted that, that the docu documents were found, a confidential with, that included some confidential documents were found right. in a closet in a think tank that used to be the place where Joe Biden worked out of until 2017 as he contemplated running for president, which we know he did. I'm also encouraged by the fact, maybe falsely, that these, uh, since they discovered this at the uh, Penn-Biden Center in Washington, right. the, the attorney general has uh, alerted the U.S. attorney in Chicago, who was appointed by Donald Trump, to start reviewing the documents while supervised by the FBI. Well, Greg Jarrett made a good point. He said, you know, this just blows a hole in the DOJ and AG's uh, investigation into Trump. And he says, why is it okay for Bill Clinton to do this, for Hillary Clinton to have classified information, right. and now Joe Biden and not Trump? I don't understand why these presidents want this information. Why don't they just keep it at the National Archives right. when they leave office? He was vice president, though, so he's not able to declassify it. Nothing. No, exactly. Th this particular, uh, according to, where did I see this? Uh, Washington Post this morning, apparently it was about 10 documents. It, they were, uh, this was actually from CNN, SCI, top secret. It, that stands for Sensitive Compartmental, car, Compartmented Information. These are the biggest secrets in the world. Why did, how did it wind up in there? I'm sure this guy is looking into all that stuff. If they're the but, biggest secrets, why doesn't the archives, why does the National Archives say, wait, this is one of our biggest we're secrets. Where something. is it? Right. Why didn't they know it? Right. right. I think what you said a moment ago is the most shocking thing of all. Joe Biden had a think tank? <laughs> I know. <laughs> anyway, the, the irony is delicious. And uh, here's why. Because when it happened to Donald Trump, pretty much every Democrat got on TV and said, hey, he's breaking the law. You got to do something about it. But not him. the president. He would never condemn Donald Trump prematurely. Well, that's the beauty of videotape. Roll it. When you saw the photograph of the top secret documents laid out on the floor at Mar-a-Lago, what did you think to yourself, looking at that image? How that could possibly happen. How one, anyone could be that irresponsible. And I thought, what data was in there that may compromise sources and methods? By that, I mean names of people who helped, or et cetera. And it's just uh, totally irresponsible. And see, when he's talking about sources and methods, that's important, because he also is talking about that SCI stuff, uh, sensitive Car compartmented information. That is information from intel sources, and sometimes it's very revealing about, you know, the information essentially reveals who it is from, and you hate for that kind of information to get out because then people can die. So a small number of documents, they say, with classified markings, some more significant than others, and of course they emphasize locked closet. I've seen about two or three in my life. Here is other Democrats reacting when a similar thing was discovered at Mar-a-Lago when they asked the president for documents. He went back and forth, said he was cooperating. Next thing you know, a massive raid takes place. This is the way they took uh, the revelations that there were documents at Mar-a-Lago. If uh, the Trump people represented that they provided all the classified or national security information and didn't, uh, that's a serious problem. No one is above the law. Yep. And the rule of law in a democracy, um, you know, has to be our standard. No person is above the law, not even the president of the United States, not even a former president of the United States. The intelligence community needs to do its risk and damage assessment about how Donald Trump's very reckless handling of these documents might have harmed our national security. This was not a mistake that these documents landed, you know, at Mar-a-Lago. This is what he intended. Uh, and it also, by the way, shows uh, that they really want to get these documents back and, 
every second that they're at this beach house uh, in the possession of Donald Trump uh, is a risk to our national uh -huh. security. Well, and see, what, yeah. what they did is they all bro broke one of the cardinal rules of politics, and that is when you are yelling at somebody on the other side, make sure nobody on your side has done the same thing. Or make thing. sure you're not doing it. Hillary Clinton said no one's above the law. So, oh, oh, yeah, that I is mean, funny. Would she, yeah, and she's with the bleach bit and the and hammer. The hammer. <laughs> right. Besides that, I'm above the law, right? And But, but, but if the uh, crowd on The View claps, she must be right. Uh, so that'll Maybe. be Have you ever sat in that right. crowd? They so, hold up signs that say clap. Right. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Have you been uh, in the crowd? Yes. Right. At The View? A long time ago before I had my job here. Right. She was lost. Uh, mm -hmm. she, she thought we I was. We saw Rene Russo. A, a it was when James Bond had come out and James Russo, I mean, uh, uh, Rene Russo and... Um, Pierce Brosnan were on. Right. Oh, I like both those actors. Yep. And Very then, nice. then they went blonde after that, right? That's true. Uh, they're, they're by already... the way, now that now that there's a House Republican majority, they have already sent letters yeah. out. They're going to want more information. There's going to be investigation. And while we wait to whether there's going to be an indictment on President Trump or anybody involved with his lawyers about what happened at Mar-a-Lago, I'm wondering if that factors in. Or, well, or not? I, I think it completely does because now the ball is in the Department of Justice's court. They've got to decide. Uh, Merrick Garland's going to decide whether or not a, a special prosecutor should be uh, assigned. But it makes it makes it much more complicated for the Department of Justice to now charge Donald Trump for something that Joe Biden did as well. Listen, the details are different uh, in sheer numbers and stuff like that. But nonetheless, when you have these kind of documents. Uh, just one counts. So it's like, right. you know, people said, oh, he had 300, Biden only had 10. It just takes one. These are the biggest secrets in the world. And what did, why did Joe Biden have it in a closet at his think tank? Once again, Joe Biden had a think tank. Congressman Ronnie Johnson, Johnson says, what a double standard. Where is the FBI? There should be battering rams knocking down his door. Right. Uh, 13 minutes. He just, the difference is he never told Biden never told anyone that he had these classified documents. Do you think Trump he knew? Was asked to get hand his over, and correct me if I'm wrong, he wasn't handing them over, and that's why they raided. Well, he said okay. he would, took hand over some. They were negotiating back and forth. Next thing you know, they raided the house uh, because the attorney general simply had to have him back. There, yeah, there was a uh, search warrant. They looked for it. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.